Greetings everyone. In today's video, we will quickly learn how you can add an admin user to WordPress using MISPL database. Let's get started. For more WordPress content, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Now to add a new admin user to the database, you will need to log in to phpMyAdmin or the cPanel. Let me quickly log in to the cPanel. Please ask your host if you are unsure about the cPanel. Anyway, let me log in. So we are on the cPanel. Click on phpMyAdmin. So we are on the database. Click on the database name here. And click on WP underscore users. Please note, this prefix WP might be different in your case. Anyway, click on it. So we have one user for the website. Let's add another one. Click on insert. On user login, give any name you want to use. On the user pass, use any pass you want. However, please make sure to choose MD5 here. Choosing MD5 is a must. Here, on user nice name, you can use the same login name. On the user email, write the email. You can leave these. On user status, make sure it is zero. And on display name, you can write any name you want. And click on go. So, one row was inserted. Please take note of this inserted row ID, which is two in this case. We will need this ID. So, now we have added a user, but we will need to assign a role to this user. In order to do that, go to WP underscore user meta and click on insert. On user ID, use the same row ID, which was two in our case. On meta key, I will provide this. Use this WP underscore capabilities and copy it and paste it here and unmeet a value. Again, copy this and paste it here. Basically, we are giving the administrative role to the user we created earlier. And click on Go. So this is done. Again, click on Insert. We are still on WP User Meta. Use the same user, which is to on the meta key. This time, copy this value and paste it here. Likewise, on meta value, write 10. And now, click on Go. So everything is done. Now let's try to log in to the site's dashboard. WP-admin. Try the username we created, that is Tess. And at the same password we used. As you can see, we are in the dashboard. And if you go to users and all users, here is the test user we created with this email address and is an administrator. You can further edit the details if you want. You can change the email address and as well set a new password and then update profile. So this is how you can add a new admin user by using the database. Thank you very much.